Good afternoon. I'm sure you guys have heard already about the uh, trade with uh, uh, Robbie Anderson. We traded him to the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Um, I spoke with Robbie today, uh, had a good conversation with him, uh, wished him well, and he's excited about uh, his new opportunity, and uh, I'm sure he's going to go out there and do well. Uh, and with that, I'll take your questions in regards to uh, uh, the game and then also proceeding to this week's game. Given, given the good conversation that you guys had, had this trade not gone down, would, would this have been something that you guys could have patched up after yesterday? Uh, I, I don't want to really uh, allude to anything beyond that. Uh, once again, you know, I wished him well. Uh, he's excited about his opportunity, and I know he's going to go out there and do a great job. Mentioned something after the game yesterday about chemistry being important. Are there times when you have a player, in this case Robbie, where you've got to make a move, or you and Scott do for the betterment of the team? Uh, as I stated uh, the other day, I, I don't think anyone is bigger um, than the program. Anyone is bigger than uh, than what we're trying to get done here, including myself. So. Uh, everybody, uh, as I mentioned before, it's about an act of a champion. Everybody being accountable, uh, committed, and uh, building that trust with one another. So uh, it's not really one situation that I can really pinpoint. I just want everybody buying in. Given, given the passing game, uh, the way the production, the numbers are obviously pretty small, how do you then go into this, this week and, and prepare to kind of sling it a little bit more or potentially push the ball more downfield? I think I think every week uh, is different based off who you're playing and you know what they've shown you on tape. So we're going to take advantage of every opportunity to be able to push the ball down the field. We're going to take advantage of every opportunity, every look that we have to be able to run the football. So um, our game plan will be predicated off what we what we've seen on tape. Picking uh, off on that, going into halftime with three timeouts in your back pocket, not really giving the offense a chance, knowing the Rams got the ball before at the beginning of the second half. Can you? Talk about that decision. What went into that? I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. You know, use your choice of words and not giving the offensive chance. Uh, I felt at that time I just didn't want to be uh, aggressive. When you look at really, um, you know, Stafford, who is a Super Bowl quarterback, I uh, threw a pick six. Uh, you know, going into halftime and had an opportunity for another one that Shaq got his hands on. So. Uh, it's not the mere fact of being conservative. It's the mere fact that based off, I felt where we were at that time in the game, we're at a good place, and I just wanted to get in the locker room to try to regroup. After the game, you mentioned third down being an issue. After watching tape, why do you think that that continues to be a problem? For the well, uh, this week, and I think each week uh, is different, but this week on def defensively, it was tackling. You know, they got the ball on the perimeter quick. Uh, you're looking at third and 15, third and 13. We got to get off the field. You know, they ran a, um, you know, uh, inside zone draw play on one of those things. And, you know, you look at CJ came up earlier, made a great tackle. Uh, and he just missed that one. So we got to do a better job of tackling this week. And then offensively right here is just really finishing and executing. We put ourselves in a great position because we created positive yardage on first and second down. So therefore, we lived in third and short, which is where you want to be. We just got to execute about who's going to be available to play quarterback this week and which way you're leaning right now? Well, right now we don't know anything, Darren, until we get the injury report tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to hold my, uh, my thoughts in regards to that until I actually know because I want to be able to give you guys an intelligent answer. Uh, so once I figure that out on Wednesday, I'll let you guys know. Are you planning to activate uh, Sam from IR on Wednesday? Uh, Sam should be coming up and uh, looking forward to him to get back on the field uh, and see exactly where he is right now in his progression. And then, you know, we'll go from there. Once you activate him, Steve, obviously you have that 21-day window. You, you think that will start this week? And what's your confidence level that he could be ready this week to play? Um, it's hard to say, uh, Joe. You know, just from a standpoint, I haven't seen him. So um, got a lot of confidence in him as an individual and as a player. But by being off for so long, you don't know exactly how he's going to return. So I'm going to wait and see and I'll be able to give you an uh, answer on, um, you know, later in the week. To clarify, though, are, are, you, are you opening up the practice window by you saying you're saying he's going to be up? Uh, I'm hoping to, yes. Yes, I am. Steve, uh, who will replace 
replace Robbie in the starting lineup? Uh, we'll wait and see how practice goes this week. Chenault is coming back, so I'm excited about him, you know, getting back to work this week. Uh, when you look at all the guys, you know, Higgins, uh, Shy is doing a great job, um, and then also uh, Terrence Marshall. So we'll see exactly how things pan out. Steve, regardless of who's playing quarterback, when you look at yesterday's <laughs> game, I mean, do you feel like, I know you said you wanted to help P.J. out a little bit, take some things off his plate. Were there times you wish you would have been maybe a little more aggressive, given him more chances to make some plays? Well, I, I'm definitely, Darren, I'm never going to sit here and second guess myself, um, even in, in regards to not being aggressive right before the half and not taking the timeouts because uh, I had a plan and a vision what I expected. So, uh, no, not, not, not at all. When you look at, at their front, uh, and what we were going against, our thought process, my thought process was trying to really get the ball out quick and get it out on the perimeter. You know, uh, I will say our offensive line did a great job. Once we found ourselves getting behind two scores and really having the opportunity to drop back, we did a great job protecting. So I was pleased to see that. So you had a concern that, you know, this might trigger other players to be traded um, going forward here with the guys? I, I would tell you this. Uh, I am very happy and pleased with the players um, that we have on this uh, on this team, and uh, looking forward to, you know, continuing this journey with these guys. So, uh, I'm not really entertaining any thoughts about trades. Along those lines, Steve. I mean, Dave told us last week that you were going to be considered for this head coaching job. I know you want to do what's best for the Panthers, but also yourself. Have you been given any assurances by Dave and or Scott that it's not going to be just a series of trades here? Coming out from under. Well, I, I will say this: um, the conversations are, are very fluent uh, between us, and um, we're all on the same page for us trying to talk and create clarity. And uh, right now, once again, we're very pleased with the guys that we have. How do you think Al handled Week One? Is calling plays? I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought he did a real good job, uh, as well as McAdoo. The one thing that we have to do. Uh, again, it's just really execute. You know, we got to tackle better. I think the players will tell you that. And uh, when we get teams in the third and long, we got to get off the field. You know, when you look at what we did in the first half, we had 78 yards rushing. Uh, time of possession was pretty much even. So uh, we did what we wanted to do for us, trying to shrink uh, the game and get their offense off the field. What happened in, in the second half is, is that uh, we didn't convert on third down, nor did we get off the field. And all of a sudden, the time of possession well, you know, got lopsided there. So, uh, again, our nemesis has been third down, and the focus this week is to make sure that we correct that. What have you seen from Picky on tape over the last two weeks? Say that one more time. What have you seen on tape from Picky over the last two weeks? I'm sorry, I can't get that name. Icky. Icky, Icky. okay, yeah. Icky is doing a great job. Um, uh, it's not too big for him. You know, we knew that from day one, and that's the reason why we drafted him. If you look at some of the things that he's doing uh, in the past game, which is his really forte, uh, he comes off the ball, does a great job maintaining his blocks, getting to the second level, and I think he's steady and proven each and every week in the pass game. Steve, when Baker is healthy, is he the starting quarterback? Uh, Darren, I can't give you that answer, uh, but I can tell you right now, uh, you know, those guys are going to compete at that position just as well as other positions to see exactly who goes out there on Sunday. Did you meet with the team since Robbie's trade? And if so, what was your message to them, you know, with him gone? Just have you talked to them about it? Well, number one, we wish uh, Robbie, you know, well. And I told them about the trade and uh, that he and I talk, you know, spoke this morning. And uh, we want Robbie to, to excel and do well. Uh, but I also pointed out to the players that, you know, uh, it's about act of a champion, you know, about being accountable, all right, that great level of commitment and, and, and really building that trust and believing in the process. Uh, I gave an example of um, DJ Moore, who I feel like is probably one of the best receivers in this league. Uh, his numbers have shown that. Uh, didn't get the touches that he probably wanted yesterday, but if you really study and watch the tape, his blocking was phenomenal, outstanding. And uh, you know that's tough for a receiver uh, you know, to buy in and do, because and, he really wants the ball. So uh, we want guys that are going to be accountable, guys that are committed and most importantly, guys that we can trust. How do you manage that? I mean, you've been around the league for a while. These guys, playmakers, want to have the ball in their hands. When they're not have, getting that and not being able to get in the rhythm, how do you? Well, I, I think what you have to do, uh, in my opinion, you have to really show them the bigger picture. 
And yes, it's, it's, you know, I want my touches. We want them to have their touches because once again, as you just stated, all right, they're a great football player and they're going to go out and make plays. But we also got to understand that we got to spread it out throughout and we got to do what's best for the team. So it's just really trying to get them to buy into the uh, overall picture and understand that it's not about the individual, it's about us. What did you think of the, how the rotation in the running back uh, group worked out? It, uh, Foreman and, and Shiba got a little bit more touches early on. Do you think that that kind of helped you early on in that first half, being able to kind of switch up personnel? Uh, it does. It always changes up your rhythm, you know, a little bit with, you know, Christian being a guy that can go inside the tackle as well as outside. You know, Foreman is a guy as well as Chuba downhill, you know, a, a bruiser in my opinion that's really going to create that positive yardage that you want. So I think moving forward, it gives us a mix that we can really control the pace of the game. What did you see out of Jacob Eason? And is he a guy that could be considered to be in the mix? Uh, I think uh, they're all considered to be in the mix, particularly, you know, with some of the injuries that we have. I told him on the plane, I was very pleased how he went in and played with poets, you know, uh, and, and, and really took the team down uh, and put us in a situation where we had an opportunity to be able to score. Uh, that's one of the things that I commended the guys about today is that, you know, there was no quit in us. You know, you saw that uh, in Christian. I don't know if you really paid attention, but Shy came down the left side and really was trying to make a block down the field. Uh, so our effort is, is phenomenal. Uh, we got to continue to press because I, I feel like we're real close and really trying to, you know, get that first win to turn this thing around. Do you see any uh, similarities in the NFC South between this year and 2014? Is that anything you preach to the players? Uh, yes, it is. And it's something that, you know, we somewhat talked about a little bit today. Uh, I like to really stay in the moment as we always talking about win today. Uh, but, um, you know, the next four games, you know, uh, we have opportunity. And, and excuse me, uh, it's three of them, excuse me, it's going to be uh, divisional opponents out of the next four. So uh, starting with Tampa Bay. So we got a great opportunity to really get ourselves right back in the mix. You know, uh, and I think uh, Cincinnati is somewhere in between that. So we're right there. What do you learn from that experience from Ron or the rest of the staff about keeping players hopeful alive? Well, I, I think, number one, it's just that, you know, taking it one day at a time, you know, really trying to take care of the things that we have to take care of first, which is really Tampa Bay this week, and um, understanding exactly where everybody else is within the uh, division, you know, it, it definitely gives us hope. And it is a lot of similarities to, to that particular year that you mentioned. Can you, can you understand something? So you guys worked out Baker right on, on Friday, and then, then you got the MRI and realized he had more damage. Why, why work him out before you knew what the MRI was? Well, it, it's two things, and it's not any discredit to the medical staff here at all. Uh, because, you know, we went through the process. We wanted to try to uh, give him another MRI, and it just came back and showed that the, uh, the damage on the ligament was still there. Uh, but a testament to Baker, he just, as I stated before, he's a very tough and physical guy. And when you would have uh, seen the workout, if you were there, you would have probably same <laughs> came back and said, I can't believe that the MRI showed up this way. So uh, we just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing uh, and not really trying to force the issue once we realized that there was still damage there. What's the timeline of him? It, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. So it's just really day to day, week to week. And then, Steve, are you still committed to Ben as an offensive play caller? Of course I am. Uh, definitely committed to Ben as well as Al. Uh, I think, once again, we executed the game plan uh, that I felt like we needed uh, in that particular game. Uh, I know that's going to be some questions about, you know, trying to open it up a little bit more and take uh, more shots down the field. I think that's going to come, you know, but we got to make sure that we pick and choose our, our, our times when we do that. Steve, out of all those guys on defense, they're dealing with injuries. Are there certain ones that you're particularly optimistic about playing this week? Uh, not right now. You know, I'm hoping to, that we get uh, mostly all of them back, starting with JC, you know, Frankie. Um, so, you know, if we get those two guys back, it's definitely is a boost uh, to our defense. Is, is P.J. Walker your expected quarterback on the week? Is P.J. Walker your expected quarterback on the week seven? Uh, it's, it's tough to say. Uh, you know, he's, he, he cleared uh, concussion protocol. Uh, he's still, still dealing with a little bit of, um, you know, soreness in his neck. 
so we can see exactly where he is, and most importantly, just the progression of practice this week. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.